a day when designers were anonymous. The name of the house was the name of the manufacturer. And I can assure you, the manufacturer was very reluctant to have a designer come forth and be a personality, as well as a talent on their own. We were never, ever allowed out of our back room where the clothes were made. We never met the buyers, we never met the magazine, and certainly we never met the customers. So that in the, that was something that I absolutely defied. I was determined that I would be able to change that, and I did. At that time, of course, there was already established the fashion group, and there was a guild for the manufacturers. Of course, nobody had ever thought of the idea of a similar association for the designers. It was Eleanor's idea, and when we all assembled, we all loved it. It was the moment, that was the moment, I think, the defining moment, when the manufacturers were really scared. They saw that there were 50 designers with Miss Lambert willing to go out on their own to be get no notoriety and fame. It was really destroyed their own equilibrium. We were very fortunate in having the senior and certainly America's greatest, the greatest designer, Norman Norell, as our president. When we asked him, we thought would, he would accept it perhaps as a purely an honorary decision. Not at all. He wanted to get involved with it. He got involved in every step of the way. Well, again, it was about recognition um, and also being far thinking. The, mar the m manufacturers were so narrow minded in their thinking that they didn't even have, if you made suits and coats, you weren't allowed to make evening clothes. The houses were so conservative, and the idea that their designers suddenly wanted to do swimsuits, shoes, things of that sort, absolutely appalling to, them, to those old boys. It was probably about that time, too, that Gloria Vanderbilt came out with blue jeans. And this was unheard of, that a society figure would do anything as sort of lowly as the blue jean. Mind you, it was before Calvin, and that was a breakthrough for a name that suddenly became a brand name. But we all were able to do it. I found it. My handle came then in doing men's clothes which I saw as a perfect uh, venue because I certainly knew something about menswear. It was a breakthrough in every way for the American designer to become noted, not only in, from coast to coast, but throughout the world.